Hi and welcome back to my channel. My name is Tiwell and for today's video guys, I will be teaching you or discussing with you the importance of cleanliness in a workplace, differentiating cleaning from sanitizing, and why food industries are really strict with the clay go policy. So what is the importance of cleanliness in a workplace? Keeping a work environment clean offers numerous benefits related to employee health and safety including preventing the spread of germs and illnesses. Offices can become a significant source of bacteria if they are not cleaned regularly. Frequently and thoroughly cleaning high top surfaces like door handles, phones and desks will prevent germs from spreading and causing widespread illnesses. Reducing stress and anxiety. Workplace design and appearance should not be overlooked, as cluttered workspaces, dirty restrooms, and unkept common areas can increase stress and anxiety levels among employees. This can then have a negative impact on office morale. Provide employees with a clean workplace to help them feel more organized and focused. Decreasing the risk of accidents and injuries. Cleanliness can help prevent or reduce the occurrence of slips, trips, and falls in the workplace. For example, addressing spills and leaks quickly and keeping entrance and exits clear will improve safety, thereby reducing the lost time injuries and costly lawsuits. By keeping the environment clean and therefore supporting employee health, fewer work days are lost to preventable illnesses. Employees are more appreciative of and less distracted by working environments that are clean and free of clutter and foul smell. This results in increased productivity and even higher quality work. So here are tips you can do to maintain cleanliness in your workplace. 1. Conduct top to bottom cleaning. 2. Choose products carefully. 3. Restock supplies regularly. And lastly, use signage to promote common sense measures. So now let's differentiate cleaning from sanitizing. A healthier place is what cleaning and sanitizing is all about. The reason we strive to make all food contact surfaces free of gunk and germs, sometimes called pathogens or microorganisms, is so that no one, kitchen staff, servers, or customers get sick. Cleaning is the removal of food particles, grease, dirt, chemical residues, and any other residue that doesn't belong on the food contact surface. We most often remove these using hot water, scrubbers, and some kind of detergent soap to loosen and dissolve the particles. We then rinse the surface in clean water to make sure everything is washed off. According to Food Safety Magazine, here are some common cleaners you likely spot in your restaurants. We have detergents, solvent cleaners, acid cleaners, and abrasive. Sanitizing is the way we reduce the number of harmful germs and contaminants down to a safe, acceptable level. The sanitizer is not designed to break down and remove residue. That's why we always sanitize after we clean. Food Safety Magazine also shared two types of sanitizers typically found in restaurants. We have heat. Hot water is used in both dishwashing machines and three compartment sinks. But for it to be effective, you must keep the water at certain temperatures. It surprises many people to learn that sanitizing does not kill all the germs. Proper sanitizing does kill enough so that what remains is at a safe level. Killing all the germs is called sterilizing which is difficult to do in most food service situations. So here are the 4 basic steps for cleaning and sanitizing that everyone needs to follow. 1. Clean the surface to remove particles. 2. Rinse the surface to ensure everything is gone. 3. Sanitize the surface. And lastly, 4. Allow the surface to air dry. So why is the food service industry really strict when it comes to the clay go policy? Most of us Filipinos consider traveling and eating as a pleasure especially when it is spent with our family or loved ones. And because we love food so much, going out will not be complete if we do not buy or have snacks with us. However, after all the celebrations and fun gatherings, how responsible are we when it comes to waste disposal? 
clay go or clean as you go is a common practice observed in some food chains and other public places to minimize risk to hygiene, health, and safety. This method encourages all of us to make cleaning a part of our daily lives. More than being obsessed with cleanliness, this practice is our little way of showing we care for our environment. Instead of relying entirely on street sweepers or city cleaners, we should at least make an effort on cleaning up our own mess. However, no matter how easy as it may seem, this self-explanatory policy is not being practiced by most of us. The general cleanliness and concern for the surroundings have always been a pervasive issue that needs further improvement. In September 2010, the MMDA littering law was implemented within the Greater Manila area. Along with that, provincial cities also implemented their respective ordinances to help the stop of littering. Offenders will be fined an amount of 500 to 1,000 pesos or render community service of 8 to 16 hours depending on the nature of offense. Citing a 2011 report, Metro Manila is said to generate 8,400 to 8,600 tons of trash per day, which constitutes 25% of the country's overall daily solid waste production of about 35,000 tons. Yeah, that's a lot. Sadly, only 9 out of 17 cities in Metro Manila implemented a solid waste management planning program. The statistics on waste management is indeed a wake-up call for everyone. And before it's even too late, let's help in the conservation of the world we live in by simply applying the Clay Go policy. If we want change, then that change must start with ourselves. That's all for today's video. I'm Newell and thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!